we're making portobello Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. I love creating vegan alternatives to traditional meat-laden recipes. So we're going to be using portobello mushrooms to take the place of the sliced beef typically found in a Philly cheesesteak. The portobello mushroom is the darling of vegetarian cuisine because it is so meaty and it takes on the flavors from seasonings and marinades really well. We're going to clean our big portobellos with a damp kitchen towel. Just wipe any dirt off the top. Now slice your portobellos really thin. This is what's gonna make your cheesesteak really authentic. I'm using my handy mandolin to make quick work of it. Next, we'll make a marinade for the mushroom slices to give it some extra meaty flavor. Half a cup of grapeseed oil. Two tablespoons of liquid aminos or soy sauce. Worcestershire sauce. And a little salt. I leave out the salt though if you're using soy sauce instead of the liquid aminos. I'm gonna whisk this all together. Pour the marinade over your mushrooms. Mm, that smells like steak. Just mix it together with your hands and try not to break too many of the slices while you mix. Now we're not massaging this, we're just kind of like gently folding it in. Don't worry if it seems like too little marinade. The mushrooms will soften and give off a ton of water as they sit, making them really juicy. We'll set the mushrooms aside to absorb the marinade while we prepare the peppers and the onions that will top our sandwiches. I've got some sliced green bell peppers and a sliced sweet onion. Set a heavy bottom cast iron skillet on the stovetop over high heat. Once the pan is nice and hot, carefully add just enough grapeseed oil to coat the bottom of the pan. Then add your peppers. You let these sizzle for a bit just so they get a good sear. No need to fuss with them. We're going to quick caramelize our onions. We're gonna do that by using onions with a high sugar content and by cooking them in a dry pan with no oil. This allows the sugars to begin caramelizing a little bit faster. Once they start turning golden, after about 10 minutes, we add in our oil to finish it off and cook for a final five minutes. The portobello slices should be ready to cook by now. So in the same skillet I just used to cook the peppers, I'm going to cook down the mushrooms one batch at a time. These onions are looking so good, a nice golden brown. The mushrooms were released liquid and cooked down, and after about 10 minutes, they'll reduce in size by about half. They should have some crispy bits and char starting to appear. That's when you know they're ready. Traditional Philly cheesesteaks use Omarosa rolls from Philadelphia, which you could order online. But instead, we're just using some nice French rolls. The bread is just a vehicle for what's inside. So you're gonna cut it in half and scoop out all this extra bread inside. Now pile your mushrooms on super high. Layer on some onions, add your peppers, and then we have Follow Your Heart vegan soy-free American slices, which we're gonna melt on our sandwich at the broiler. I like it extra cheesy, so I'm gonna use three slices. Broil your sandwich for about two minutes. Look at that cheese. A nice warm orange cheesy blanket. Put the lid on, then slice it in half. And there it is, a classic portobello Philly cheesesteak sandwich, gone meatless. Yum.